was a sold out game. Over 19,000 fans packed the garden and you could feel the historical significance and the gratitude all the way to the rafters. The Sun claimed home court and in fact brought their own with them. But actually playing here in Boston's legendary garden for the first time ever was lost on no one. It felt great. It felt like um, it felt like what every night should feel like. Women's basketball, I keep saying this, is trending in this direction, and I think it gave us a, another level of energy tonight. The night started with a block party on Canal Street. The Sun hosted four days of family-friendly activities. The emphasis here is on young fans. Tatum this past year started playing basketball in our hometown, so she's really excited, and the whole league is going. What do you like about playing basketball? I don't know, just fun. I really like Alyssa Thomas. That would be Olympic gold medalist Alyssa Thomas. Everyone here has someone they root for. For women's basketball, we're moving up, and I'm just glad that people are finally recognizing. My friend plays on the Connecticut Sun, Veronica Burton, so we played basketball together all our lives. That's right. Everyone is watching women's sports. It was a really good game. They're just, like, so amazing and, like, tall and, like, they're really good shooters. We're so privileged to be here. This was a first, but it won't be the last time the women play the garden. In fact, there is already talk of next summer at the TV Garden. I'm Mary Salato, WCDB, News Center 5. We love that.